Mr. Heaters line of powerful kerosene forced air heaters provide economical, efficient heat for large commercial, industrial, and construction areas, both indoors and outdoors. Always follow the ventilation requirements in the operator's manual under safety instructions. In this video, we're going to show you how to clean and maintain the unit for maximum efficiency and trouble-free operation. Please refer to the operating instructions and owner's manual for the complete and detailed instructions. Before performing any maintenance, unplug the heater. The pump pressure on the heater may need to be adjusted due to varying fuel properties and normal component wear. To adjust the pump pressure, first fill the fuel tank, then start the heater. The fuel pressure adjusting screw is at the rear of the heater in the air filter housing cover. To increase pump pressure, turn the screw clockwise. To decrease the pump pressure, turn the screw counterclockwise. Base pump pressures can be found in the specification chart on page 3 of the Operating, Instructions and Owner's Manual. For best results, the nose cone on the combustion chamber should be cherry red with no dark spots and the flame should not exceed beyond the outer edge of the nose cone. The following cleaning and maintenance should be performed every time you use the heater. Before servicing, make sure the heater is unplugged. Make a general visual inspection of the heater for loose or damaged parts. Check the nuts and bolts to be sure there is no loosening caused by vibration or rough handling. Repair or replace any damaged parts before using the heater. Finally, check the heater operation to be sure it is working properly. You will also need to make sure the air and fuel filters are clean and in place. Dirty filters will cause an air-fuel mixture imbalance. You can tell this condition exists if there is an increase in the odors or if you are having trouble igniting your heater. If necessary, clean or replace the filters as described in the owner's manual. Never operate this heater without the filters in place. After 500 hours of use, the following cleaning and maintenance should be performed. Make sure the heater is unplugged. Remove the filter element and wash with mild detergent. Then dry thoroughly and reinstall. Do not oil the filter element. If your heater is used where there is considerable dust or dirt, clean as often as needed, about every 50 hours. To remove dust, clean the heater twice a season and more often under dusty conditions. Use compressed air to remove any dust from the transformer, the burner, the motor, and the fan blades. Then wipe with a clean, dry cloth. Inspect the unit to make sure all foreign materials are removed especially around the burner and combustion area. Clean the glass portion of the CAD cell with a soft, dry cloth. Over time, dirt from the fuel and carbon from the compressor veins will clog up the nozzle. This reduces the fuel and air flow, resulting in improper fuel-air mixture and excess odor and smoke. If this occurs, replace the fuel nozzle. Clean the fuel tank twice a season and twice a month during periods of heavy use. Drain and flush the fuel tank with clean fuel oil. The following cleaning and maintenance should be performed on an annual basis. Make sure the heater is unplugged before proceeding. Remove the air output filter and tap the contaminated side gently on a solid object to remove contaminants. Compressed air or liquids should not be used to clean this filter. Place the cleaned filter in the filter body in the same position as it was when removed. If the filter appears extremely dirty, replace it with a new filter of the same type. Replace the filter cover, making sure the gasket is firmly in place and the screws are tight to prevent air leaks. Remove the fuel filter from the fuel line. And blow compressed air through the filter in the opposite direction of fuel flow. Always wear safety glasses when using compressed air. 
If the air or fuel lines are removed during cleaning, be sure all connections are tight before operating the unit. Inspect the lines for cracks or damage and replace them if necessary. Pump rotor replacement. Remove foam air filter. Remove pump inlet housing, outlet filter, and outlet filter gasket. Remove outlet housing. Remove rotor vanes. Note vane orientation. The vanes are not square. Remove rotor. Remove nylon air pump, insert, and washer. Install new nylon air pump insert and washer. Install new pump rotor. Make sure rotor is seated on the nylon air pump insert. Install four pump rotor vanes. Note position. Loosen the two pump cylinder retaining screws. Insert a 15,000th feeler gauge between the rotor and cylinder in the 12 o'clock position. Tighten the two pump cylinder retaining screws, rotate the fan, the fan should turn easily with no binding. Install pump outlet housing, outlet filter and gasket, inlet housing and inlet filter. Start heater and adjust pump pressure. If you answer yes to any of the following questions, your heater is not working properly and may need service. Is the flame extended outside the heater? Is the flame not essentially yellow? Is there a strong, disagreeable odor, eye burning, or other physical discomfort? Is there smoke or soot, internal or external, to the heater? Are there unplanned or unexplained shutdowns of the heater? In addition, a hazardous condition may result if your heater has been modified or is not functioning properly. Ducting cannot be added to these heaters. Mr. Heater has over 500 service centers to help you in the event you have a problem. To find one near you, go to www.mrheater.com or call 1-800-251-0001 extension 3614. If your heater has a poor flame or no flame at all, go through these steps before calling service. Check the fuel level, check the pump pressure, check the vacuum and fuel hoses, check the filters, and check the pump rotor. You may be able to correct the problem yourself. Now your kerosene forced air heater is ready to heat at peak efficiency. At the end of each heating season, clean the heater as described in the maintenance section of your owner's manual. Drain and flush the fuel tank with clean fuel. We recommend that you completely fill the tank for extended storage to minimize condensation in the tank. Store the heater in a dry location free from moisture and dust.